turning our attention now to the ASX. Here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears report is brought to you by Todd River Resources, ASX code TRT. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now on 6PR by the Managing Director of Todd River Resources, Will Dix. Hi, Will. Morning, Matt. Well, Chalice Goldmine's spectacular Julemar Nickel Platinum discovery just 70 kilometres northeast of Perth has shined a light on a new mineral terrain in WA and drawn a bevy of experts inspiration hopefuls to the region. Todd River Resources has acquired a strategic ground holding just north of Julemar, where it is hoping to emulate Chalice's success. Well, what's the name of the project and how much land are we talking about and how far is it from Julemar? We've acquired what we're calling the Berkshire Valley Project, which sits around 100 kilometres north of Julemar uh, in a very, very similar geological setting to the Chalice Project. Pretty good neurology to Julemar, obviously. What makes you think it might also be mineralised? We can see in some of the publicly available magnetics a chain over 42 kilometres of strike of a number of mafic and ultramafic intrusions that host this style of deposit that Julemar is. So we're encouraged by that. And I understand that Independence Group previously explored the area for gold and even got a few nickel and copper hits in the surface auger drilling. Have you or can you learn anything from IGO's work back then? So IGO explored for gold between 2006 and 2009. During that period of time, they also ran a number of nickel and copper assays. And we've got all that data. As well as that, we've been lucky enough to get hold of all of the sample pulps from IGO. And we're going to rerun those platinum and palladium, which gives us, hopefully, a vector into where we want to be looking for this style of mineralisation. And the theory being that when you find the platinum and palladium as Julemar did, or as Chalice did at Julemar, you're in the right geology. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So platinum and palladium, along with nickel copper, that tends to suggest there's a sulphide source somewhere. So that's the first pass for us to then develop detail geophysical targets and then hopefully straight into drilling targets as well. And I heard there are a few industry heavyweights involved in vending this project into Todd River. I know one or two of the names. Can you just remind me who they are and what their background is? Will any of them stay involved with the project going forward or is it just a straight vend? So we were lucky enough to acquire the project from Marley Minerals. Some of the guys involved there are Ian Murray, who's ex-Gold Road. He will join our board through the acquisition. Dr Mark Bennett is also part of the Marley team and he already sits on our board as a representative of S2 Resources. And Mark was responsible for the discovery of the Nova Bollinger Nickel Copper project that IGO now own. Uh, Will Dix from Todd River Resources, thanks very much for joining me on 6PR today. And just remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney. Thanks for listening to Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6PR.com.au and click the Public Companies tab.